We're now going to demonstrate a shoulder dystocia. Um, to do this, once again, you need to lubricate the perineum and the baby, especially head, shoulders and arms. Now what we're going to be doing here is putting the arms into the ferro position like we did with the normal delivery. But what we want to try and ensure is that one of these arms, which is going to become our posterior arm, stays in that ferro position all the way down. Because that will then facilitate the person doing the internal maneuver to facilitate a successful delivery of the posterior arm. Placing the baby's head down through the birth canal. And what we want to do this time round is push and push and push as we were doing a normal delivery. Everything appears to be normal at this point in time. The baby's stuck. Now what I'm doing, the baby's stuck and I'm holding the baby's bottom and I'm pulling the baby back. And I'm pulling it back in such a way that the chin is resting on the perineum and the baby can't come out. I'm ensuring that the shoulder is stuck behind the pubic bone and I'm holding it in that situation. So now the person that's delivering the baby has to go through the relevant assessment and steps to successfully deliver the baby in a shoulder dystocia. Okay, so I cannot deliver the baby with normal traction, so we'll call the emergency bell. Then we would move mother into McRoberts position, which is moving the legs back. And then a third person would then be doing a super pubic pressure. At this point, we need to ensure that we get the baby out by conducting an internal manoeuvre. To find the posterior arm and bring the hand out and successfully deliver the baby like so.